It's March 4th, 2023. I'm here at the Troll Ski Resort in the uh, Caribou near uh, Quesnel, BC. It's uh, Telefest today and uh, this is my first Telefest so just gonna take a look around and see what, uh, what's all going on. My name is Hilder. I'm with uh, Troll Ski Resort and we're here in our lodge. Um, we've got this weekend, we've got Telefest going on on Saturday. We just come out and enjoy the sport of Tele experience that. That's the original way we used to ski, bend your knees and have some fun. We've got guys that are doing it and guys that'll teach you to do it if you'd like. Tomorrow's our Mount Everest uh, day where we do 20 runs, sign up, do 20 runs on the lift. That's the, uh, when you do 20 runs, times 15,000 feet vertical, that adds up to 30,000 feet, which is the, the height of Mount Everest, so we call it our Mount Everest challenge. Troll embraces youth, um, embraces anybody who wants to go skiing. It's just a fun place to hang out and enjoy the snow, so it'd be nice to see you out here. Hey. <laughs> Do you have accommodation here? We don't, so we there's great accommodation in Wells, mm -hmm. just up the road a half an hour, and in Quesnel which is 45 kilometers south of us, or west of us here. And um, yeah, a lot of people stay there and come out for the day. I see that there's a bit of a trailer park across the uh, highway. Do you yeah. have contact information for them? Yes, we do. Um, you just check out our website. Those are permanent, I mean, seasonal long rentals. So, but if you have a camper and you want to come out for the weekend, we can accommodate that too. All right, thank you very much. You are very welcome. Have a lovely day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. It's just a 10 minute idea going up the tea bar with Hilder, <laughs> the owner of the ski hill. I said, I have an idea. And uh, so we had the Tully Fest for 15 years and I love music. So I knew a lot of musicians and then we'd always have a, like a, a dinner, a potluck dinner in the evening and then we'd have a full-on dance nice yeah and people used to camp out in their tents and tonight uh, people are going to be camping out because they've got the Mount Everest challenge right so people will be putting tents up tonight and camping out overnight and they're going to do 20 runs tomorrow that would be the elevation drop from Mount Everest incredible yeah so yeah. 20 runs yeah, yeah all Fun the best stuff. to all of them that expansion is going to be awesome I don't know when it's going to be done, probably for next year. Yes! Well, here's a, uh, another angle of the resort. This is the Bunny Hill side, and as you can see, they're really promoting the young. That's how you keep the sport going. That's how you keep things alive. Promote the young. Invest in them. It's worth it. Yes! This man's new to Telemark. This will be his first run. Good morning, everyone. My name is Morgan Day from Williams Lake, BC, but this is my first year having a trailer over in Trailer Town. Telefest today, and it's my first day on Tele Skis. We're up on the yellow. We're going to give it a whirl, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So the staff had some uh, gear for you to use. Yeah, you, you betcha. Ben and Mike on patrol are kind of uh, organizing things down at the bottom. They got some gear out of the rental shop, and then... Uh, just some extra gear from uh, the the locals around here, so it's awesome. Nice. Well, let's take a look at your uh, <laughs> take a look at your gat. You betcha. Look at that. The boots match the the pants, so we're everything. You look aesthetically pro. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 
So why did, why do you tell you? I've never done it before. I'm trying it out today. Nice. Um, it's the best feeling turn on snow. Nice. <laughs> and why do you tell you? I tell you because Ben tells me. <laughs> That's sweet. Oh, I'm on the camera again. And why do you tell you? I tell you because I'm always up for a challenge. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, my name's Tyler Dinsdale, and my name's Ben. There, right on. Nice. And yeah, we're here at Troll, taking part in the Telefest and doing some telemark skiing. Nice. So, can I uh, can I ask you why you telemark? I telemark. I got into telemarking a long, long time ago when I was about fourteen or fifteen years old, and I was really interested in getting out into the backcountry. And back then. AT gear with plastic boots and your proper alpine downhill uh, skis didn't really exist. The best way to get into the backcountry was uh, with the technology that existed then. That was still leather boots and skinny skis and uh, that was the way to, to go and explore the mountains in the backcountry. So when I was 14 or 15, that's what I was interested in doing and that's when I got into it. Oh, that's fantastic. And what about you? Well, that sounds fantastic. What an adventure. Well, you look good on your skis. Can I get some footage of you uh, skiing? Yeah. That's great. Show them what you got, guys. Are you ready? My name's Dougal Hines, and I'm the guy that started Troll Telefest. I think it was in 81, 82. I did it for about 15 years, and then uh, COVID came on, and uh, it was time to let it go, because I, I'd done my bit. But uh, here we are. What is it? 2022 20, right now, isn't it? Three. 23. Wow, how the years go by. And it's been resurrected, and we're back again on March the 4th, uh, 2023. It's a good time of year to do it, and it's World International Telemark Ski Day around the world. And telemark skiing originated in Norway, and the hunters would go on wooden skis with leather straps, and they hunted with bows and arrows. They didn't have guns back then. That's how they did it. And then the Norwegians, when they went to school, they wore the wooden boots, leather straps, the girls wear the wool skirts, and the boys had wool pants, and they would ski up to school, to the top of the mountain, to go to school. Then at the end of the day, they would take their skins off and they could ski down the hill. And telemark skiing is what they did. And the whole idea is you're not locked in. So you can go cross country skiing and downhill on telemark skiers. And if you watch the Olympics, the ski jumpers, when they go off the big jump and when they land, they land in a telemark stance with their hands out the front. Right. That's the telemark landing. Mm -hmm. And you can see the free heel right there. Yeah. The heel's lifted. The big thing about telemark skiing is you link the turns. So instead of parallel skiing, when you skis together, you put your front ski out, and that front ski, you can edge it in and it turns. The other ski, you've got to slide in behind, and you're still in that stance. Mm -hmm. And the whole challenge to learn is to go from one ski we call this the Tully Shuffle. And it looks so That's good. The tally shuffle. Looks good when it's done properly. Doing right here. My story. <laughs> Tully Thank you. 
<laughs> well, we found the, called the silver chair. And I guess this goes up to some steeper, more challenging uh, runs, black runs. So we're off to Odin's Beard. See what this runs all about. Look how far ahead those guys are. Let me just ask Fast. you, why do you telemark? Uh, for the love of it. It's, uh, I call it free form. You yeah. know, if you love dancing, you'll love to telemark. Absolutely. Yeah, and if you love to feel what your body's doing and connected to the earth, yeah, it's the most natural way to ski and it's it's light, it's easy and it's fast and if you want to go back country into the mountains, this is the best way to go. Nice. That's all there is to it. It takes a lot of practice, it takes uh, skill and it takes balance. But if you're persistent and you have a good teacher, you'll figure it out pretty quick. Nice. That's all I have to say about it. Well, thank you, Dougal. All right. I appreciate your time. Thank you. And thank you for starting telly. I'm glad I did. At Troll, you can ski the basin on the other side of that ridge and this basin right below us, and that's the expansion across the way. So once that expansion is done, the whole basin is going to be available. There's a good example of it. That's what I want to look like. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so here's Flip Banana Telefest. You might remember them from last uh, last year. We did a piece on you guys and your family. Is that a whole year ago? It would be a year now. Yeah, it was like Yeah. That's yeah. so good to see you guys. Yeah. Mm. You're looking better every day, Ann. <laughs> I'm grayer every day. Oh, now you're teasing me. I'm going to try and make sure we're friends with my family all the time. Okay, yeah. And even then it falls into something else. Like, oh, Natalia, are you coming to school? No. Hello. <laughs> Look who I run into. Having fun. Yeah. Time of my life. Yeah. Like one side will make sense, and then the other side will feel foreign for another run or another day. Like it, it comes. But usually one way will start to make sense before the other way. And then you kind of ride with that and away you go. So my uh, tele crew has gone over to the silver and I'm just here waiting for Flip and Annie and uh, hopefully catch up to them. They're a really great bunch to, uh, to tele ski with, a lot of fun, a lot of knowledge and all the levels are right there. So um, I'm having a great day. It's been a great day to be here and, uh, and uh, share this tele fest with you. So uh, yeah. I just want to say thank you to all of the uh, all of the skiers that I met today and people uh, that I met along the way on today's journey. Uh, it's been an absolute treat right from the get-go. Right from the get-go. Action! Hey, how you doing out there? Check these babies out. Both third generation T2s, yes. right? Yeah. T2X. Still styly after all these years. Dusty before today, man. I'm telling you what, the dust was that thick. It took half a run to whip that dust off there. Gandhi. Nice. Excellent, man. It was excellent. I never realized how fast telemark skis actually were until I paid attention. Ridiculous. Ridiculously stiff. Ridiculously fast. Aubrey, good to meet you, brother. Right on, man. Awesome, thank you. So this is the end of the day at Troll. The end of the day crowd. This concludes our 2023 Telly Fest. I had such a great time. I ended up with a really amazing crew of people to ski with. I met so many wonderful people. 
this uh, the environment here at Troll is such a family family oriented uh, environment really in tune with the ski culture if you have a chance to come to Troll please enjoy they have a camp area here just across the highway um, and, uh, and if you're coming for Telefest they're going to have uh, camping right here on the, uh, on the resort grounds so it's going to be great in the meantime, be good, be safe, and of course, be kind.